There, so today we have another review, and this is a new beer from Bell's. This is called Sparkleberry. This is a raspberry Belgian-style ale. It's a Belgian triple brewed with uh, raspberries, 9%, and pretty interesting. Uh, Bell's is, I'd argue, most, more focused on American and uh, British styles, and not really well known for uh, doing Belgian ales. So uh, quite curious how they do on the... Fruit beer is also not quite their thing. Uh, the Flamingo, whatever, or that, that, that amazing uh, passion fruit Berliner that I had from them was absolutely fantastic. One of the best shelf beers of this year. So let's see how they do with fruit beer and then also another variant. They're not known for sours either. So they had a passion fruit sour, not known for either. Another fruit beer they're not really known for. And then Belgian here, so super crazy stuff. But uh, beer has a beautiful um, kind of ruby hue to it, um, almost like a leaning towards like a crimson kind of thing. It just has a beautiful uh, red blush to it. Uh, nice raspberry note in there. Let's get the normal. Sings of raspberries, yeah. Not quite, uh, a little bit jammy, not super tart, not too seedy. Uh, the aroma of like raspberry seeds quite different from just pulp of the fruit. Maybe a little bit of that kind of uh, phenol character. So you get that kind of a uh, little bit of clove and pepper. Quite nice. Cheers. Okay. So the beer generally, despite the aroma, is actually not that fruity. It has um, like a medium to medium, I'd say medium fruit character to it, medium to medium plus. Raspberry driving, not that sweet. Actually works with the triple because it's decently dry. Uh, the complexity of the triple is decently hidden because obviously the raspberry quite forward, but get a little bit more of that spice character I was talking about. Those phenols uh, sing of a little bit more of that kind of um, almost clove, peppercorn kind of thing driving around. Nice effervescence driving in here. The malt has a little bit of that kind of uh, bready thing in the middle. Nice and dry. A little bit almost like a, of like a, almost like a white grape wine character. Uh, po possible expression of the yeast, almost like a pear thing, sort of that... Um, light zesty not zesty a uh, light fresh fruit character again more like palm fruit more like uh, white grape skin and so again despite the color uh, not too forward on the fruit character so i wouldn't go too scared that this is a pure fruit beer it's more of a fruit-ish beer with a belgian-ish triple in there that makes any sense uh quite good as for rating this is one of those sneaky ones. I feel like a tap room would just absolutely crush it with, um, I mean, I hate to talk about demographics, but you know, I feel certain demographics would just really enjoy a raspberry beer uh, at this ABV, sort of that that uh, demographic that drinks something like Gold Monkey or La Fin du Monde um, with the fruit character. Yeah, uh, dangerous, dangerous, sneaky, sneaky. That's one of the actual biggest compliments of the beer is that it is super hidden alcohol. As for rating, let's go with, Again, this is not my kind of beer at all, but. Well made, but not my kind of beer. Um, Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven, a Sparkleberry. If this sounds like one of the beers that you might like, then bump it up to an A, uh, A minus. But um, yeah, until next time, guys, cheers. Let me know what we think about uh, Bell's uh, tickling around in the world of fruit beers. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.